When a mother is having a C-section, timing is everything. But how does timing affect the baby's long-term health? Doug Johnson shows you in Your Child's Health. Today is the big day. Mike and Lakota O'Quinn are at Baptist DeSoto awaiting the birth of their second child. They've already picked out his name, Preston. He's being delivered by cesarean section. Because that's a surgical delivery, it can give parents and doctors some leeway in scheduling when babies are born. Well, I definitely want what's best for my baby. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking because my mom lives eight hours away and she's come, she came up for it. So it was one of those things where I didn't want to go into labor early. And, but, I mean, if it happened, it happened. It was whatever was best for the, my baby. So. But O'Quinn and other parents are waiting a little longer to schedule or induce births. Baptist DeSoto is one of the hospitals taking part in the Induced Labor Initiative, developed by the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. The initiative promotes the idea that no induction, that is, no intentional delivery of a baby, should be performed before a baby reaches term, which is 39 weeks. If moms go into labor naturally before 39 or 40 weeks, babies are usually born with no problems. But... It was a vastly different story if we put you into labor. If we give you medications and put you into labor at 37 weeks, then you're dealing with um, just a few transitional issues. Maybe little one's having trouble breathing. Maybe little one takes just a little bit longer to feed. A few things like that. The evidence shows that waiting closer to term for induced delivery gives babies more time to develop. That can mean less time in the nursery and more time with the family. Research shows that giving babies just a little more time in the womb can mean fewer developmental issues in the hours and days after they're born. Hospital administrators say that has led to fewer level 2 nursery admissions. That's the level that provides care for babies born with complications or transitional issues. That way the babies can stay at bedside. We don't have to separate them from their moms and so they then changed it to the 39 weeks. The process began with providing information for doctors delivering at the hospital and continues with education for expectant moms. The goal is the best care for every baby, every delivery, every time. For Smart Medicine, I'm Doug Johnson.